oceans really drive key planetary systems that affect us on land. Our mission is to quantify the entire planet in real time using wind-powered drones to fulfill that mission. Imagine a sailboat covered with solar panels and has no engine. It relies purely on wind power for propulsion. The types of sensors that we have on the sail drone is pressure sensors for barometric pressure, air temperature, carbon dioxide, and a telecommunication link back through satellite that streams real-time data back to shore. So for example, our Antarctic circumnavigation, it had never been done before. You will need to understand you know, the risk of collision with icebergs, which can be the size of small countries. Drones are equipped with cameras. The problem being, when you're at sea, the ocean moves, the waves move, and we need to train machine learning algorithms so we can navigate this. We sail around Antarctica in 196 days with three vehicles and release the data 20 days after the mission was over. Anyone can download the scientific data and immediately start integrating it to get some insight. These large compute tasks that require dedicated infrastructure is way beyond the reach of a company our size in just building the infrastructure. So for us, AWS was a natural partner in trying to get a quick start around both the storage and the compute of that infrastructure in a way that can scale literally in planetary wide. I really you know, hope that the future will get people pointing at our planet and say, we want to stay here and we want to make it better. And to do this, we're going to use everything we know about technology and data to understand it and use this understanding to protect it and to fix some of the problems that we now know exist.